Josh, you just keep on doing it, man. A big win over Strom Thurmond this past Friday, and it was uh, this was a game that I think that uh, a lot of folks said, we'll really find out how good Gilbert is when they go up there and play in that environment. And I love the fact that you guys stepped on their neck early, 28 to nothing, kind of before they knew what was going on. Talk a little bit about back on Friday, how y'all came out and did that. Well, we were all playing with a chip on our shoulder, just like we have every week. And we we're just trying to put them out of the game early and not give them any chance or any hope of coming back. And we definitely did that in the second half as well. Now, in retrospect, you knew that this would probably be your biggest test going in. But take me into the locker room before the game. Take me on the field in warm-ups. Did you guys have utmost confidence, utmost surety that you were going to go in and do what you did? Was there any doubt at all? I don't think there's any doubt from anyone on our team. You know, not many people outside of Gilbert have been very confident this all season, but we've always known that we got to work out what it takes to get the job done. One of the things I really love is your coach was telling me that as far as he can tell, and you know, you can't look into a guy's heart, but he has a pretty good idea that you guys are the last team that's going to get a big head, that's going to ever take anybody for granted. He said, you all have that special mentality that no matter who you're playing, that they're capable of beating you, so you got to go out and do the job and make sure that you hopefully get, out, get them out of it early. Is that true? And tell me a little bit about where that mentality comes from because great teams have a killer instinct. I think that's true. Um, our coaches have definitely done a great job instilling that in us. And we know that any given week, something crazy could happen. It doesn't matter who we're playing, they, can, they always have a chance to beat us. I know you get a lot of attention. I know that the community is so proud. The community's talking about Gilbert football more than, heck, maybe more than ever. Are you guys able to compartmentalize that and basically appreciate it for what it is, be excited that everybody is really hyped up about the program, yet not at all let it affect you guys? We're glad that everyone's rallying around us, but we know that we got to keep working hard every week and try and just win the next game and keep making everyone proud. You went uh, 13 for 20 with 193 and two touchdowns. And I think the part that Coach was the most excited telling me about it was no turnovers, no interceptions. So uh, how are you doing this, young man? You're only a freshman. I mean, it, it's, it's been a pretty remarkable story. I'm just doing my best to take care of the ball and put it in my playmaker's hands. But everyone around me is doing a great job helping me out, making plays for me because I'm not always perfect, but they always pick me up. Now, you have, a, you have a bird's eye view when you hand the ball off to that number 35 of y'all's, Katrez Cook. Tell me what it's like from your perspective when you guys give him the mail to tote. What's it like being back there and just watching the things that he does happen? Because you have a very, you have a, a, a very unique and special viewpoint of all that. It's definitely fun to watch, and it takes a lot of weight off my shoulders, a lot of pressure off me because teams are committing so hard to him that it, they're not paying much attention to the passing game because they just can't stop him. But it's, it's definitely fun to watch. Now here's the big thing. Um, you guys are undefeated, uh, setting yourself up for a, an obviously a number one seed if you take care of business. Um, is there, what can y'all do better, I guess is the thing I want to ask. Is, is, are you still in that mindset of, hey, we still got to improve every week. We got to get better and better and better. And assuming that you are, what can you guys do better? Because you've been, you've just been so, so good, especially in the big games. Well, we definitely got to get better every week because it's only going to get tougher from here on out. But as far as what we can do better, um, probably limiting teams in the in the first half. Our our half has been the second half, and maybe mm -hmm. getting things over with a little bit earlier would be mm -hmm. our thing to work on. Well, that was a good start this past weekend. Twenty eight points to start the game. All on y'all side of the scoreboard. That's pretty good stuff. Is this uh, has this been is is unbelievable for a young man that started the season? Obviously, you're only a freshman. You know, you're the backup quarterback, and then suddenly the starter gets hurt. You're thrust into the situation. You had to pinch yourself a couple times just to say, like, "Gosh, is this really happening?" It feels pretty good, <laughs> obviously. But I mean, it's been I've just been trying to keep a level head. Stay, uh, stay humble, stay hungry, and keep working. Well, keep doing what you're doing. It's a great story to, to watch. It's a, uh, it's a magnificent performance. Again, I can't say enough about 
not just what you have done because that has been obviously terrific but the fact that again you're only a ninth grader you know that's really special so keep that uh keep that great attitude and keep that humbleness and keep up the good work buddy and you are this week's cc's pizza gilbert boys player of the week enjoy that pizza well deserved thank you